Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to Aviation Security Explained. Uh, my name is Gary Leung, Manager of Security and Facilitation at ACI Asia Pacific. To raise more awareness of the importance of aviation security, uh, we have created a series of videos to look into various security issues from a layman's perspective. Uh, in this episode of Aviation Security Explained, uh, we will be looking at the evolving nature of security. Uh, in our last video, we discussed the basis of aviation security. We mentioned that security screening is a necessary part of your travel journey and that no passenger can be exempted from it. Uh, I understand that going through security at airport is not always pleasant, especially when you need to wait in the line for a long time and are subject to multiple checks. But hopefully, after watching this video, uh, you will understand a bit more of the reasons behind why airports are doing all the security checks to the passenger. With the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, most of us have not been able to travel for the past year or so, but I believe the security processes are still very familiar to all of you, uh, such as what to divest, meaning what to remove for screening, uh, how to walk through the metal detector or body scanner, uh, what to do when you are subject to a hand search, and what to expect during the baggage inspection. But did you know uh, airport security was actually very different 50 years ago? The security measures and processes you see today are the result of constant improvement responding to the many aviation security issues that have happened over time. So let me take you back in time to look at how aviation security has evolved over the past few decades. Actually, in the early age of civil aviation, there was simply no aviation security at all. Uh, passengers were allowed to board the plane without any physical checks. But after the various hijacking events in the 1970s, the industry introduced the first generation of metal detector and X-ray machine to prevent weapons from being carried on board the aircraft. Now, this is how the airport security checkpoint was created. Of course, then came the Lockerbie bombing, where a bomb was placed in the cargo belly of American airliner Pan Am. Uh, the airplane exploded mid-air, killing over 250 people. The fatal terrorist attack resulted immediately the mandatory requirement of whole baggage screening. So since then, every piece of checked baggage had to be screened prior to being loaded onto the aircraft. Of course, then came the 9-11 attacks. Some of you might still vividly remember what happened. Coincidentally, uh, this year commemorates the 20th anniversary of the attack. And because of 9-11, rules uh, surrounding prohibited items, like shops items and knives, have been greatly tightened and the flight deck door is now always locked during the flight. And um, there, are, there have been a number of security issues after 9-11 that also led to significant changes in the security processes. For example, a shoe bombing plot in 2001 led to the need for removing shoes for screening in some countries. Uh, the liquid bombing plot in 2006 resulted in the worldwide restriction on the amount of liquids, aerosol, and gels that you can carry on board the aircraft. So now you know why you can only bring 100 ml or less liquids on board and why liquids have to be placed inside a transparent plastic bag uh, for screening. And then the underwear bombing in 2009 served it as a wake-up call for the industry to improve the ability to detect concealed explosive. Uh, this resulted in the deployment of many advanced screening technology like body scanner and computed tomography or known as CT X-ray machine at the airports. And in 2016, the laptop bomb that exploded in mid-flight prompted many countries to require passengers to take out their laptops and electronic device so that they can be clearly screened uh, in the X-ray machine. So now you can see that uh, security measures implemented at the airport security checkpoint did not happen overnight in one go, 
uh, but rather have constantly evolved over time. And definitely, security measures will continue to change in the future because terrorists are always thinking of new tactics. Um, their ways of attacking uh, will keep changing to target the weakest link of the aviation security industry. Uh, so as an airport industry, we can never be complacent in the area of aviation security. But you may wonder, uh, what kind of new tactics the bad guys are thinking of? Actually, there are a number of emerging security threats that have quickly come to our attention over the past few years. For example, the fatal bombing in the terminal building in Brussels and Istanbul in 2016 have raised a concern over land size security threats. Uh, other alarming threats include, for example, attacks conducted by trusted insider or airport staff, uh, attack against air cargo supply chain, attack using chemical or biological weapons, drones attack, and last but not least, uh, cyber attack. So in response to this rapidly changing threat landscape, uh, ICAO has constantly been adding new regulation uh, in Annex 17. You will rec recall from our first video that Annex 17 is the baseline security regulations that all states need to comply with. Uh, you can see that there has been almost one amendment every year since 2017. And most of the regulatory changes in the amendment were derived from the emerging threats which were mentioned. Uh, apart from ICAO, ACI has also responded swiftly to the changing threat environment. Uh, we have been publishing different handbooks to assist airport to deal with the latest emerging threat. Uh, you may refer to the link on the slide or down at the description section of this video on our YouTube channel to access all the guidance documents. And down at the airport level, uh, we see that more and more airports are deploying advanced screening technologies such as body scanner and CT machine for cabin baggage screening in order to stay on top of the emerging threats. So next time, uh, if you go through an airport and see those futuristic looking equipment, uh, don't be surprised and intimidated uh, because they are there to better protect you. And speaking of advanced screening technology, at ACI, we have a program called Smart Security. Uh, the program focuses on security innovation, in particular to the technology used in passenger and cabin baggage screening. The objective of smart security is not only to help airports strengthen security, uh, but also more importantly to work on ways to increase operational efficiency and improve passenger experience at the same time. So we do encourage our airport members to get involved in this program. Uh, very recently, the Smart Security Program published its vision 2040 to actually set the vision for the future of airport security. For your interest, some of the uh, forward-looking concepts include, for example, uh, the, the use of big data to drive security operation, uh, for example, off-airport whole baggage screening, or walk through passenger screening without the need to divest anything on your body. Uh, the program uh, at the same time also looks at automated detection of all prohibited items, uh, smart CCTV which can collect and analyze data as well as a wider use of biometrics throughout the security process at the airport. Again, if you are interested to know more about this Vision 2040 or the program itself, you can refer to the link to access the document and know more about the program. Uh, so to conclude, we understand that aviation security today has come a long way since the introduction of the first generation of equipment deployed at the airport in the 1970s. Uh, with the evolving nature of security threats, aviation security will continue to evolve and improve in the future. Uh, no one knows what an airport security checkpoint will look like in 50 years from now, but as I mentioned in the, uh, in the first video series, uh, humans will still be an important element in aviation security with the support of technology. So next time, 
if you are stuck in a line waiting for a security check in an airport, try not to be agitated uh, because everything we do is to protect you and other passengers. So this wraps up the second part of our Aviation Security Explained video series. Uh, there will be another video on how the COVID-19 impact uh, has impacted security operation next week. Uh, if you missed it, the first episode describing the basis of aviation security, uh, try to head to the ACI Asia Pacific YouTube channel. Uh, if you do have questions, feel free to leave your comments below or you may contact me directly by email or by phone. So in the meantime, stay safe, stay tuned, and see you next time. Goodbye.